again, welcome to the second installation of my building a house vlog series. Um, basically in this one, I want to show you some of the samples and stuff that we got from World of Style, kind of what we've done leading up and um, just some ins and outs of what we've been through so far. We are going back to the World of Style on Tuesday next week, so I'm actually going to take you along and show you exactly what it's like there. If you're not familiar with, oh, well, you're probably not anyway, so I'll just... I'll quickly explain it. Porter Davis is who we are building with and um, they have this thing called the World of Style and basically it's like this massive warehouse in the city in Melbourne and you can go there and you can make all of your colour selections. So you can choose like all your carpets, your bricks, um, your driveway, your bench tops, your bench cabinetry, all your paint, everything. Basically the idea is that you go there and do that all in one spot so that you don't have to you know, go to individual retailers and stuff to try and figure out what colours you want for your house. They've also got an interior design service um it's just it was it was really cool and so much easier because i mentioned in my first episode of this vlog series that we had originally um, planned on going with a custom builder and i mean this has been stressful enough going through the world of style i can't even begin to imagine how stressed i would have been going through a custom builder and having to go to you know all the different tile manufacturers and all the different cabinet makers and stuff and making those decisions um individually ourselves like it just went way too much Hang on, this lights are really annoying me. That's a little bit better. I'm in the room that I film my makeup tutorials in, so hence why this weird setup. But yeah, so we went down to the World of Style. Now, because we're building a double story house, we had to have two full days in the World of Style to go through all of our appointments. So that was, um, I think the first appointment we went to was like the interior design one. We chose like the paint and the carpet colors and things like that. Then we had electrical, no, then we had window furnishing, so blinds, drapes, and things like that, by the way. Look, that, that's a story for another video, um, the window furnishings, because they were hella expensive, and we were like, bitch, please, like, we're not spending that much money on window furnishings, because they were super expensive, so we decided not to go with them. Um, then we had electrical, then we stayed overnight in the city, um, Porter Davis did provide um, the accommodation for the trip, just because we're in a rural area, we live about... Well, I mean, it's not a rural area, but we live probably an hour and a half out of Melbourne. So um, they were nice enough to provide accommodation, which was really, really awesome. Then the second day we did like our kitchen. We, d we went through um, all the kitchen stuff and we went through like kitchen cabinets and bench tops and tapware and things like that. Um, and then we did our tiling and flooring, I think. There was also a wardrobes appointment in there and a heating and cooling appointment in there as well. But basically, yeah, you go down, they like you to do it all in one day or two consecutive days just to make it a little bit simpler and go down and choose everything. So I've got all of the little samples and stuff that we've chosen in this folder behind me. I do have to be careful to cover my address, but um, it's really good to have it all organized in this little folder like this. It just makes it a lot easier. But I'm going to quickly show you um, yeah, what I've got here so far. And a couple of the dilemmas that we are currently facing um, with our budget and things like that. Okay, so here's a tiny little look. When you first um, visit a sales consultation with, um, you know, the salesperson of the house you're building, they will do you up a quote. I'm just awkwardly trying to cover the address here, sorry. Um, they'll do you a quote and then what happens is um, you make lots of changes and things like that. Um, the quote includes all of the inclusions to the property. So these are things, um, you know, they might be promotional items or whatever. Um, and everything that's included in the build as standard. And then if you continue going through the quote, um, you start to get to, oh, here we go. You start to get all of the custom variations that you've made to the property. Sorry, my camera just overheated. Man, I got it fixed and it's still playing up. But yeah, so these are all custom variations that you add um, to the price of the quote. So you add all in your custom variations and you're basically given a final number for the quote. Let me know if you want to know exact prices um, and things like that. I'll probably do a blog post about that as opposed to a video. Or if you want a video, you can let me know. Um, but yeah, I guess it's kind of private information, really. But yeah, so that's what happens when you are quoted. Now, I do have to mention quickly, when you go and visit a display home and you fall in love with a display home and you go to the salesman and you say, how much does it cost to build, say for the Wardorf Grange, how much does it cost to build the Wardorf Grange? He will give you a specific number of how to build the house as a base house. Every single display home that you visit is entirely upgraded. So basically everything is top notch. They've upgraded everything like the ceiling height, the tiles, the carpet, 
um, the kitchen cabinets, all of the cabinetry through all the bathrooms and everything, everything is upgraded and you've got no idea. That is something that we did notice going into this, like um, we asked the salesman you know, how much it was to build the house and he gave us a figure but then we were like, well, how much is it to build the house as per the display and let me tell you now, the difference in the prices between the base model of the house and the display model of the house was about 350000 so just something to bear in mind if for those of you looking to build a new house, I know I would have I would have liked to know these things because when it came down to like our color selections and things like that, like even just the tiles, like we were told that the tiles in the display were actually included but no, they were an additional upgrade and they were going to cost us like an extra $20,000 to add them to the house because they were quite large um, tiles. But look, I'll talk about that in another video but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that so that you are more kind of informed going into it I suppose. So yeah, you go down to the World of Style and you choose, you know, all of your colour variations and things like that. Um, it's a separate appointment. Um, I do have some floor plans here. I could probably show you um, maybe some floor plans. This is just the floor plans of the display house. So yeah, you go through what is called a colour selection appointment. And I'll show you this document closely so you can kind of see it. Basically everything in this document is everything that you've chosen in terms of colours and upgrades. So internal doors, internal colours like garage doors, tile type. Um, colors of your exterior and your facade are all in here. More internal doors, uh, door handles, more door handles. These are going to be our inside door handles. I'm feeling them. Let me tell you, I am feeling them. Skirting board, architraves, paint colors, um, bench tops, boring. More colors. This is no fun. Doorknobs, appliances that the house includes. Draw layouts, all of your sinkware, taps and things like that. I did really like the way that they did this document. It made it a lot easier to see exactly where all of the money was going um, in terms of upgrades and things like that. Our stairs are going to look nothing like this as well. So just so you know. But yeah, so this was like this full on document that we went through. And then all of the added up costs, if things that you've upgraded are all in there and you're given a final number. And you have a separate document um, for all your kitchen. I've just gone through and scribbled out the address so that nobody finds out where I live, basically. Um, how cute is Brandon's signature, by the way? Like, what is that? But um, yeah, then you go through your kitchen appointment. And that basically is all of the kitchen upgrades that you've added or things that you've taken away and things like that. And then the next document is tiling and flooring. So we had to um, pay, like I said, a lot extra to tile the areas that we wanted to tile. So that's that document. It's good that it breaks down all of the costs so you can kind of see where exactly all the money is going. I really like the elevation drawings because it gives you um, exactly sort of what the kitchens and stuff will look like. I'm not going to go too much into these because I'm pretty sure these are copyright. So let's just scoop over that. Um, we did a whole electrical appointment. Now that's something else to talk about. When you go to the display homes, they're all beautifully well lit and it's part of creating, you know, like a really friendly, like welcoming environment when, you know, people are coming in. It's basically to suck you in to buy the house. And there are so many downlights in the display homes. Now, typically most builders, when you, you know, purchase a new house, they only come with one batten light in the center of the roof. So most display homes, you know, even a bedroom would have like four or well, three or four down lights in the roofs. No, 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 no. That doesn't come standard. You have to pay additional on top of the base price to upgrade all of the lighting. So, um, yeah, one batten light is basically like the bait, you know, the standard light that comes in the center of the roof. I wonder if we've got one in this house I can show you. Let's go visit the laundry quickly. I think I've spoken to you about this house before. We're renovating, so... You know, here we go. So if you look up there, that's a bat and light. That's what I mean. Look, our laundry is like all patched up and being renovated. There's like holes everywhere. So yeah, that is what I mean by a bat and light. And um, if you want your house to be really nice and homely and beautiful and you know, all the rest of it, you probably are gonna wanna pay extra for down lights. We allowed huge budgets, um, you know, when we were going through this whole process to allow for things like that. So we were expecting it to cost around $10,000, you know, to upgrade all the lighting in the house anyway. So wasn't a shock when we went through and did it, but that's another document. Um, but yeah, basically we've got all of this paperwork tucked away in this neat little folder. Now in this one is all of the decisions and changes that I've already made. Like, 
I've just changed so much stuff already and it's been hectic. Like I said with the tiles, when we went down, we had set a budget and we were like, right, this is how much we're going to spend on the house. We had been told by the sales consultant that the beautiful porcelain tiles in the display home were a standard inclusion at the, and that they weren't extra. And then we toddled our way off to the color selections appointment and we were told that no, these particular tiles were going to cost us an additional $180 per meter squared. So it worked out to be quite a bit of money to upgrade um, the downstairs area. Now, we did look at the rest of the tile colors and all of the options and stuff that they had and there was really nothing like, and we did look extensively. There was nothing that was going to do the house justice. Now you've probably, been able to tell already this particular house that we're building is quite big it's very beautiful um, you know it's quite an investment for us to make and I feel like if we're you know spending all this money to build this massive big you know beautiful house if we skimp out on you know floor finishes and floor furnishing then like oh, it's just gonna be a waste and it's gonna basically downgrade the entire property so um, we basically came to terms with having to spend that additional money on the tiles and we were like, right, you know, we're just going to cop it on the chin and it's going to be fine and all the rest of it. We finished at our color selections appointment and we drove all the way home and we were like, yes, you know, we've organized everything. We went a little over budget on the tiles. Well, a lot over budget on the tiles, but you know what? It's fine. All of our color selections are done. Now we need to wait for the tender appointment, but in actual fact I can't even remember what it was basically it started with the carpet I was like Brandon I've decided that I want to change the carpet color we originally went with like a really dark olive carpet um, and I remember someone had sent me a snap on my snapchat and they were like Nikki you can't have super dark carpet because you've got fluffy pets all like every single little bit of fluff and lint is going to show up on that dark carpet and I was like oh my god you're so right um thank you so much like I and I think I'd had tunnel vision like I'd seen inspiration photos of how I wanted the house to look and I hadn't even considered that so basically we ended up going a couple of shades lighter in the carpet still the same undertone but a couple of shades lighter and then I was like um Brandon, what do you think about getting wooden floors? Because it all started with, I was like, well, if we're paying an extra 20000 for these stupid floor tiles that I didn't even know we were going to have to pay extra for, why don't we save money because um, the flooring package that comes with the prestige range of houses with Porter Davis does in actual fact include wooden floors. And I was like, well, why, why don't we just save that money? We can, you know, buy furniture with that money or whatever. Um, and let's get, you know, the standard included wooden floors and then everybody wins. So um, he was like, uh, show me some photos. Anyway, so I found some photos for him. Um, and one of them, and one of those particular photos were a display home, another Porter Davis display home in Brighton called the Brookwater B Design. Um, and we had visited it before, but we'd only gone to kind of look at tiles and splashbacks. We hadn't even looked at the floorboards in there. But I was like, these are the floorboards I want. These are beautiful and these are going to save us $20,000. Wrong again. Wrong again. So I rang the sales consultant at that particular display home and I said, oh... Tell me about the floors. Um, guess what? They're even more expensive than the tiles. And now we're in this really like finicky situation when I can't unsee them. Like I've fallen head over heels in love with these floorboards now. And like, I mean, we're going to save a bunch of, we've cut a bunch of things out of the budget to kind of make up for the fact that we've, we're having to spend more on the floors. But um, we're basically still in the process of deciding whether to go the tiles or the floorboards or what to do. That's kind of where we're at. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that story because... I don't know, it was just ridiculous because I was so excited about saving money and I was like, yes, we've made it under the budget and then no, it didn't happen. But I've got a little baggie um, of samples and color selections and stuff to show you here so you can kind of see what the house will look like. And like I said, we will take you back to the displays on uh, Tuesday next week so you can get like a really good feel of kind of how um, we kind of want it to look. So let me unpack these and then I will show you them. Okay, so here are all of the color samples. Um, I'll just, I'll talk you through them because it probably otherwise won't make any sense. These are the facade colors that we have chosen and I have just pulled up a photo quickly of the facade I'm just on the computer here. So as you can see, like they're kind of cool tone grays. Um, the roof is like a blacky kind of gray tiled color. Um, you can sort of see, you know, these colors um, reflected in that picture. Our house is going to look exactly like that on the outside, except these windows here. That's where the, this is basically the display. Um, these windows here, that is where the garage door will be. In terms of inside 
Um, these are the floorboards that we were thinking. They, they look totally different like in real life. The sample looks nothing like a photo. Let me grab a photo um, of the display that had these floorboards. Okay, so here are the floorboards laid. They're like a beautiful like warm oak kind of color and we are um, currently in the process of finding out how much it's going to cost extra to get them laid in this herringbone fashion. Um, obviously it's going to cost more than if they were straight laid but um, we just basically this is exactly all the colorings that our house will be. Our kitchen's going to look the same as this. The floorboards, we are even tossing up whether to go a darker stain in the floorboards but um, I'll run through the I'll run through all of that on Tuesday with you when we go down to the displays and we can talk about it then. But yeah, so that is these floorboards here. Um, so the kitchen bench tops are like this beautiful marble um stone. What is it called? Style stone lagoon color. It's beautiful and as the same as it is in this picture, um, the cabinetry in the kitchen will have these beautiful French cut type cutouts. Um, and then all the cabinetry is in warm white. Um, I didn't want to go straight white. I felt that it would be too cool and clinical looking. So yeah, we went with the warm white. These are the tiles that are going to be like splashbacks in the laundries and the en suites upstairs. Um, and it'll be with this sort of laminex cabinetry with this um, bench top. We didn't bother paying extra to upgrade the stone in the laundry and the upstairs en suites. It, to, to upgrade from this one to this one, like it was going to be a fair bit of money and we were like whatever we're not really going to use those en suites anyway so we'll just keep the standard so yeah en suites and laundry um this one here is the en suite floor tiling um this here is the tiles for the porches and the patios and stuff outside um paint colors so um the paint colors are going to be the same as this house here let me see if i can sort of find a photo that you can see it oh actually let's go back that is exactly what it'll look like. So those floorboards, we've got dado paneling along the walls and then like this off, it's like a really like grey white kind of colour on the walls. It's stunning and exactly the same internal doors, pretty much the same corner seeing um, and skirting boards and everything. Like pretty much that is what our house is going to be and it's kind of hard to tell from all of these little swatches but you kind of get the gist anyway. You kind of get it. But yeah, like I said, we're going back to um, the world of style and the display homes on Tuesday. So I will go through um, a lot more of this with you guys then so that you can really kind of see it. Um... And yeah, if you're interested in knowing how much it costs to upgrade all of these items, like we have upgraded pretty much all of the tiles, pretty much um, like the wooden floorboards, like these are stupidly expensive. These are French oak floors. They're not standard floorboards, which is why it costs extra to upgrade them. Um, and then you've got the additional cost on top of that to lay them in the herringbone pattern. But yeah, let me know if you want you know, specific numbers and things like that, I'd be happy to share it with you. Like I said, I want this to be completely open with you guys so that you know um, exactly the process that you've got to go through and, you know, the differences and, like, the ridiculous differences in prices that there are between the base models of the houses and the display models. So, yeah, I think that's probably enough from me. I am so hungry and Brandon's nearly home from work, so we got to go and find some dinner. But yeah, leave me any questions and comments you have down below. I hope, I know that this is a lot of information to pack into two vlogs, but like I said, my camera was busted and I've literally had months of prep work leading up to this and I'm just trying to cram it into a couple of vlogs to catch you guys up to speed. So yeah, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.